All right, number 50. Identify the slope and y-intercept point of the line 4x plus 3y equals 6 and then graph the line. What this is asking us to do is to take this equation that we have and somehow get it into the y equals mx plus b form. And that means that we have to do a little solving. So let me go ahead and rewrite the 4x plus 3y equals 6. And we want to get y by itself, so the first thing that we want to do is subtract the 4x. And that will then be put first, so 3y is a negative 4x plus 6. Then we need to divide each and every term by 3. And this will get us y all by itself. y equals, in this case, negative 4 thirds x plus 2. And the great thing about this is we now have the slope, m is negative 4 thirds, and the y-intercept, which gives us the point 0, 2. So we can plot the point 0, 2, 1, 2, there it is, and we can use the slope negative 4 thirds that means that we would count down one, two, three, four, down four and right three, one, two, three. So there's another point that's on the graph. We could even do that again. We have enough room to go down four, one, two, three, four, and right three, one, two, three, and we get a third point. And if we want, we can even treat that slope m as positive 4 over negative 3 that would allow us to go up 4 from our y-intercept and left 3. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3, up 4, and left 3. 1, 2, 3. We get 4 points. We actually are only expected to get 3, but I couldn't help myself. So let's see what points we have. We have here 0, 2, and this point down here is 1, 2, 3, down 2. That's 3, negative 2. And this one is over to 6. It's negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. 6, negative 6. And let's see, this point is over 1, 2, 3 to the left. That's a negative 3. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have negative 3, 6 for the last point. And again, we're going to draw the graph. And we put arrowheads on because we know that the graph goes on forever in each direction. Number 51. Find the x-intercept and y-intercept of the line 4x minus 5y equals 20 and graph the line. So let's first of all start by writing the 4x minus 5y equals 20 here. And we can find the intercepts by first of all letting x be 0 and then letting y be 0. And you might recall from the way it's presented in the textbook, letting x equal 0 is like covering up one of the terms there. And now we just have negative 5y equals 20. And we can solve for that and get negative 4 for the y value. Now let me go ahead and clear those so that they're not in our way anymore. And we'll start fresh. The next one is when y is equal to 0. We'll, it's like covering up the y value. And now what we have is that 4x equals 20. And solving that simple equation, the x value is 5. Let me go ahead and clear those as well. So we now have two points that are on the graph.
One of them is the y-intercept 0, negative 4, and the other is the x-intercept 5, 0. Let me label them right here. 0, negative 4, 5, 0. And two points are sufficient, even though usually we try to find three points. I think that's all we're going to get are these two points. So let's go ahead and draw the line between those two points. And we'll put the arrowheads on to indicate that it goes on forever.